Hey, in this video, I'm going to go over how to do the food lab, the energy and foods lab. And so here's the equipment you'll need. Uh, so some food samples, something to burn them on. Basically, you just take like a peanut in this case and just carefully place it on there. Uh, LabQuest device with a thermometer, temperature probe. Matches are lighter, some water. I just use cold water from the tap and I pulled about 50 milliliters. All right, so data you're gonna need before you get started would, uh, would be to know how much the food sample weighs. I'm just gonna weigh the food sample on here because it's not so much that I need to know how much it weighs. It's that I wanna know how much uh, weight, how much of the food was burned away. And so if I know what this weighs before and after I burn it, then I can get the difference in the weight, which is how much food was actually burned. So I'll just put this on the scale. Uh, before I put it on the scale, I'll make sure that it's zeroed. Okay. So in this case, I'd write down that the food sample weighed 10.0 grams, because the food sample doesn't weigh 10 grams, but that's what I'm gonna write down as my initial weight because it's got the food sample on it. Then I need to know how much water I'm going to heat up. So I'm gonna pour my about 50 milliliters of water into a cup. Of, actually, before I do that, I need to know how much this weighs. Empty. Sorry about that. So we wanna know what this weighs empty and then what it weighs full because we need the weight of the water. So again, make sure that it's zeroed. Figure out how much that weighs empty write that down, add about 50 milliliters of water to the container, write down how much it weighs full, and then on your data table you just take the difference between what it weighs full and then what it weighs empty, and that equals the weight of the water in grams. All right, and the last thing we need before we actually start the peanut on fire is what the temperature of the water is. So, I'm going to get this set up to get the temperature. Okay, so I positioned the temperature probe with the clamp so that the end of the temperature probe, the tip of the temperature probe is underwater but not touching the bottom of the metal can. And then I can write down my starting temperature of the water, 21.2 degrees Celsius. So this is everything you need to have before you start the burn. You need the weight of the peanut or whatever food you're burning. It can be the weight of it on the container. You need the empty weight of the can and the full weight of the can. And you need the starting temperature of the water. So I am ready to burn the food item. Okay, at this point you will want to make sure to have goggles on because we're going to actually get the fire started here. Place the food item, make sure that it's under the can with enough space, adjust it if you need to. This looks okay. Light the food item on fire away from the, from the water. Carefully transfer it underneath the can and allow it to burn completely. If it goes out, you can relight it if you need to. And so now that my food is completely burned, I need to write down the final temperature of the water before it starts cooling off again. Then I also need to know what the final weight of the food item burned was. So carefully I'll bring this over to the scale. Make sure it's zeroed. Okay, and I'll write down the final weight of the food item. 
I can go back to my lab table and if I'm going to perform this on another food item, if I've gotten all the data that I need, I will start over. Dump out the water, refill it with some more cold water, transfer it, remove the peanut, throw that in the garbage, and I can put another food item on here and get all my new weights and measurements and temperatures before I start and do another burn. When you're all done and you've burned all of your food items, you'll want to clean up. Take the soapy water and scrub the bottom of the can to get some of that soot off the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean, but get some of the soot off because uh, that soot's going to be, it's going to get on your clothes really easily and stuff. And then spray off your table and wipe your table off as well.